I have got a super easy TikTok try for you guys today. Come on. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I am in the middle of a little series where I am trying things that I've seen on TikTok and one of them is making really easy peanut butter fudge with just peanut butter and vanilla icing. Apparently you can use other types of icings as well, but I'm just going to do the basic recipe for you guys today. I picked up this vanilla icing. It's 10 ounces and I got it from the Dollar Tree. So it is possible to find icing there. And then we just have this large jar of peanut butter. And what I saw on TikTok was you got like a 16.3 ounce thing of peanut butter and like a 16 ounce of frosting. So pretty much just equal parts. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make this fudge. So let's give it a try. So the very first thing I'm going to do is just kind of prepare my pan. I think just to make life easier, I'm gonna first put a layer of cling wrap or saran wrap down. And this will help me store my stuff later on. And then I'm gonna put some parchment paper inside as well. And this will really help make the fudge not stick. So the saran wrap is gonna be like a way to wrap it up. And that way I don't have to bring this everywhere and the parchment paper is so my life gets even easier. Okay, so now that my pan is ready, we are gonna go ahead and measure out my ingredients. I've got a bowl, I've got a scale. Uh, like I said before, if you buy the 16 ounce versions of both the frosting and the peanut butter, you should be good to go. But since I don't have a 10 ounce thing of peanut butter, we're gonna have to use my scale here. So I'm gonna transfer the frosting to the bowl. And while I'm doing this, I'm just going to take the, a moment to say I'm sorry to my family who is just starting up the keto diet that I'm taking my time in the day to make yummy desserts that you guys can't enjoy. So I apologize, but sorry, not sorry. Okay, so obviously I didn't use the scale for this, and that is okay because I knew how many ounces this was actually going to be. So one trick that I actually like to use, instead of measuring, like putting the bowl on the scale and measuring how much I'm putting in, like for example with the peanut butter, I know I'm gonna have some left on my spatula, so I'm actually gonna put the peanut butter on the scale, turn it on so it zeroes it out just from the start, and then what I'm gonna do is pretty much just measure out my 10 ounces, and we'll see negative 10 here, and whatever's on my spatula is part of that 10, and it will be taken into account when I'm like mixing this later on. So anyways, if you're like scooping out from something that you know like whatever you're scooping out has to be exact, that is one trick that I like to use. So for example, I just took my first scoop out and the scoop says negative one and seven eighths. So that means whatever I scooped out is one and seven eighths ounces and I've got a ways to go. Almost there. Now I use this technique when I'm like measuring out like peanut butter for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or butter for toast. It's just so much easier doing it this way than trying to measure like the exact amount that I actually put on my bread. But looks like I've got my 10 ounces perfectly measured out. So we are done with the peanut butter and with the scale. And what we're gonna do is microwave this bad boy for about a minute. Alrighty, here's what it looks like after a minute. The frosting definitely looks melted. The peanut butter doesn't look like it got as soft as what I saw in the TikTok videos, but I'm sure once I finish mixing this all up, it will come together nicely. Another technique, instead of putting both ingredients in the same bowl for this little recipe, if you buy the um, equal weight containers of both ingredients, people just kind of microwaved those containers or jars like individually for a minute and then poured it in together. So that works too, but I don't know. I'm, I'm liking how this is looking. I'm liking how it smells. It definitely smells delicious. And if this turns out as good as I'm hoping it does, it is gonna be the easiest dessert I've probably ever made. <laughs> it's also worth mentioning that if you can't use peanut butter, I've seen them suggest using some other type of nut butter. Um, I don't know if you have like a substitute for peanut butter, I'm sure that you can go ahead and use that. Also, again, you could probably use like chocolate frosting if you want more of like a Reese's, 
kind of effect. Um, but you can also put like chocolate chips on this or other toppings that you like to go with peanut butter. Lots of choices here. Okay, I think we're good to go. So let's bring my little pan over here. And my longer piece of saran wrap kind of dangling off the edge to then cover it up later. I'm using a bread loaf pan because I'm making a 10 ounce thing of frosting and a 10 ounce of peanut butter. It's gonna be probably a good like inch high, but you can use whatever pan you want. And is anyone else like super paranoid about getting every single scrap off the bowl? I hate wasting. And since there's not a lot of people in this household that will eat my dessert right now because they're on a keto diet, uh, there's no one to lick the bowl anyways. So I feel like I gotta get every little piece off. If you are not like that, tell me how you cope with the wasted ingredients, please. Okay, I think I've got a happy amount off. Let's go ahead and spread this out. Now, like I said, you could put like chocolate chips on here. You could melt chocolate probably. And we're gonna let this kind of firm up in the fridge for, I don't know, maybe like an hour at least. And then I'll check back in. So while we are waiting for my fudge to firm up, I thought that I would take this time since we're kind of like in dessert mode to let you guys know that I have been working on trying to create the perfect s'mores cookie recipe. Now, if you aren't following me on my Instagram, Lima Bean Living already, you might want to. That's kind of where I share previews of crafts, uh, previews of my desserts or foods that I'm making or activities that you guys are gonna see in upcoming videos. So check that out uh, if you guys haven't already. But on my Instagram there, I have been showing you guys like my attempts at making these cookies. And the first time that I made this, it was like a huge cookie scoop and it was like packed with marshmallows, but it was lacking some like graham cracker flavor. And so I tried to modify it again and I made like cookie sandwiches that time. And I don't know, I still feel like I'm in the search for the best recipe out there. So if you think that you found like the perfect s'mores cookie recipe where you taste every element and it's like just you know in cookie form let me know send me the link down below in the comments um maybe i'll compare it maybe it's like the exact same thing that i've been trying and i just want to improve on it even more so anyways let me know that but that's going to be a little preview once i find what i consider to be you know the best i can make at least at this point in my life uh, without being like a professional baker. I will make a video for you guys and I will let you know my recipe. So enough about that. Uh, I gotta keep waiting for this fudge to firm up, but I will check in when that's ready. So my little helper has awoken from her nap and we are ready to examine the peanut butter fudge. It looks like it's firmed up. Yep, definitely. It seems like it'd still be nice and soft. Yeah, does that seem nice and firm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can kind of see her little tiny fingerprint left in there, but okay, let's not touch everybody's food. Would you like a piece? Uh-huh. Yeah? Okay, let mommy cut you a piece. All right, so that was easy. Now let's just go ahead and trim this up. Seems soft, definitely soft. We can see that there, it just kind of breaks off, but it is nice and firm and holds its shape. It's not like it, you know, melts back down. So let's try a piece. Really? Okay, Aubrey, do you want to try a piece? Can you say hi? Hi. And say, I'm gonna try fudge. I'm going to try fudge. Good job. So here we go, peanut butter fudge. Eat it. It's definitely smooth. I really like it. It reminds me of this peanut butter pie that my friend Teresa, hello Teresa, uh, made when we were in Arizona for grad school. I think it would go really well with like a nice 
crunchy chocolate top. Like if you melt just chocolate chips and then pour it on top and let it cool and harden because the fudge is so smooth if you like that texture change. But just by itself is like a really delicious peanut butter like bite. So I definitely recommend this recipe. Do you recommend the recipe? Say, I recommend. Can you say thank you for watching? And say subscribe. And say please like this video. Please like this video. Good job. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Say bye. Bye. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.